Zoom. Oh, si Mama Mikey din na nonood. Hi, Mama oh, Mikey. Oh, hello, Mama Mikey. Of course, she's our It's general our... manager and head stylist. Diba? Siya yung aming punong abala at komite de pesteho sa Aces and Queens. Oo oh, nga. Okay. Partida, may fashion show kanina. I was, ano ah, follow oh, oh. Uh, of course, I follow Nasa me fashion Mall. show sa with Bea sa Newport Mall. Sinusundan ko yan ah, Mikey, nasa Newport Mall. Nakita kita kanina. At, hindi kasama siya doon isang, yun na yun. Guys, <laughs> hindi naman ako in-invite ni Mama mo. Mikey, kaya hindi ko nakikita. <laughs> si Bea lang yung pre-remote niya doon eh. Oy, well, meron pang isa. Abangan mo doon. <laughs> hey, thank you so much, guys. I can't believe the whole... Practically, the whole Aces and Family gang is watching us <laughs> right you. now. Thank you. They're so supportive. Despite their busy lives. Uh, Ma- Mama yeah. Mikey, thank you so much. Partida, busy-busihan niya na sa pagluluto, sa Mikey's oh. Kitchen niya. Nagtananahin oh. ng mga Siyang damit. Siyang punong apala at komite de pestejos. <laughs> Joya Sobier for Miss Philippines. John oh. Vicera is a... So ito na, oh, sir. Ayan na nga. Kwenento mo na yung mga babaeng... Na- na court mo, naligawan mo to become uh, part of your camp. So, paano yun? Kasi nanonotice ko, katulad yan this year, you have 11 girls for Miss Universe Philippines this yeah. year. So, apart from the selection process, up to what extent of help do you give your trainees? Yeah, um, Kasi, um, especially, sampu kayo, how do you, sampu sila right now this year, di ba? So, how do, eh, isang pageant pa lang yun, iba pa yung yes, sa Binibili, yeah. iba pa yung sa Miss World. So, mm-hmm. I wonder, how do you train all of them at the same time, especially with all of them, for sure, having different needs or areas um, of improvement? First, um, yung sabi mo, to what extent do we help them? Number one, for our provincial delegates, we help them source Um, apartments or condo units. Kasi we help them choose where they can stay para nearer dun sa choices namin ng training venues. And then we suggest that they share it with their fellow provincial candidates para makatipid so they will share the cost of expenses and then at the same time, you know, it's like students who review for the CPA board. They go to one boarding house and then in the evening, parang meron kayong group session, group study, You're able to share what happened during the day, and it's a support group. And then number two, um, we help them get discounts for suppliers that we will be needing for makeup, hair extension, for the shoes. So parang they save on that also. And then sometimes then, for some candidates who lack certain logistics, there are times that we had to dip in our own pockets. Ganon yung kwan. Yung, kasi they're like family to us already. Like sometimes, hindi dumarating yung support pa nung allowance of family or nung LGU. Of course, we cannot let it stay that way. Pag, kung kaya naman, then we just step in. And then of course, for everyone to know, uh, we don't charge anything for our training. It's for free. So everything that we spend during the training venue and all is paid for by the team. By the so you just go like there. That. And uh, the payment lang siguro, kung, hi, kung matatawag na payment, is their commitment, their determination, complete attendance, and not to be late for the training sessions. Ooh. So sa mga interested who are asking, uh, we don't charge you anything. Parang the moment you make it to the official list, then you will be trained for free. Oh. Sir, ang galing, no? Talagang passion lang talaga lahat to. Hindi yeah. ba ko kasi, na? Parang... Yeah. Kasi, Uh-oh. Adam, I summarize in three words yung Aces and Queens. Eh. They will tell you what is Aces and Queens about. I created parang slogan in three words. It's passion, mission, and vision. Passion, our passion for pageants and beauty queens is what is holding us together as a team because we share that common interest in beauty, in beauty pageants and beauty queens. Okay, second is our mission. Our mission is to help girls from any part of the country who wants to become a beauty queen, but they don't have the resources, they don't have the logistics, and they don't have the contacts for which they can pursue their goals to become beauty queens. That's where we come in. And then third is vision. Our vision, which has started by Jonas when they started Aces and Queens in around 2001, is 
to create, uh, to produce the next international winner. Because since 1973, we haven't had the winner. And that happened in 2013 when Megan won our first Miss World Crown. And prior to that was the winning streak, which was hand, which was started by Venus Ra, and then uh, followed by uh, Shamsi Subsup, Janin Tugonon, and then Ara Arida, then up to uh, Pia Words Back. So if your passion, mission, and vision. Oh. Yun ang no, core values it. namin sa Aces and Queens. Buti you got to meet, yun nga, you got to meet people along the way. Katulad nila Mama Mikey, ni Sir yeah. si Ram Silva, ni, yes. ni Jim Ryan Ross, who, you know, who also share the same vision with you all. Kasi di ba, when you are, when I mean, you share the same passion, you move in the same circle eh. So parang you get to talk to them lang in a social activities, padya chika-chika. And then when the time comes, oh, we need someone who's like this. Oh, I think I know one. Kasi, bakit ka palalo? Yo, you just go to your circle of friends and then you'll be able to find guys na sharing your passion. Kaya yung, so to get new members, um, our new pasarela trainer, Louis Tan, was um, a champion uh, esports uh, dancer and adjudicator. Ha? So, kwan lang yun, hindi lang siya teacher, she's a champion, then adjudicator pa sa national and international competitions. He would always be in Dollar Studio for our pasarela training. And unknown to many, he has been training also one-on-one -on -one national beauty queens before they compete abroad. One-on-one -on -one special sessions after they win their national title. So, when... Uh, we saw him said, okay, I think uh, you can formally this time join us, not as just a, an assistant trainer, but you will be the official trainer. So that's how we came in. But, tapos yung, um, when we needed also someone to assist a QA, and a um, Kali Navea Half used to be a support for the Q&A team. Now, uh, when we needed someone who can go full-time for Q&A trainer, we asked, can you handle our Q&A session? Because we knew how we work. She's a fantastic trainer. She has the passion for it. My God, she's so systematic. She's like a teacher. For every session, she has a lesson plan. Everything is so planned. So finally, okay, can we request you to our Q&A trainer? She graciously accepted. And now, she is also ably assisted by another one, Pipo Gonzalez, because we have three Different growth, Bini Bini, Miss Universe, and Miss World, Pipo Gonzalez assists naman. Now for our social media, we have a new guy also. It's um, si Jay Cartesano. She's the one doing our graphics and posting on our social media. Very young oh. guy, but very good in creatives and very knowledgeable about pageantry. He's the one doing that. So uh, the fresh blood, parang any organization will survive if you always inject fresh blood. When you inject fresh blood, there are new ideas, the renewed enthusiasm, there are new aggressiveness. So fresh blood is what keeps any type of business or association alive. So we're very fortunate to have these wonderful people with us. In addition to our regular members. Can I mention your regular team, namin, Adam? Okay. Yes, Pa. You come. Okay. Uh, of course, I'm head of Aces and Queens, and I do personality development also. Uh, we have two advisors, Council of Advisors, the award-winning director, Jeffrey Heturian, and then uh, Cesc Evangelista. Uh, we have Mikey Andre, who is our general manager and head stylist, and is gamely assisted by Raymond Galang, who is now Dubai-based. Then we have Jim Ryan Ross for hair and makeup, and then part of his team is also Dave Grona, who teaches our girls beautiful hairstyling. Our fitness trainer, of course, is Jan Quay. Um, there was a time he was named as the second best fitness trainer in Asia. And this year, he was named as one of the top five fitness trainers in the Philippines by an ABS-CBN publication. And this, uh, since about two years ago, we added a dietitian and a nutritionist to complete the fitness training. We have Christy Marisigan, who is joining us already as nutritionist. And then, of course, I mentioned Kali Half and People for Q&A. Then we have Louis Tan for Pasarela, Jay for social media. And then, of course, Wen Chua, our latest addition. He is now our official partner for Aces and Queens, Cebu. 
And uh, anybody who is in the Visayas, not just in Cebu, please get in touch with Sven Chua and he will gamely endorse you to Aces and Queens. And just this month, we added mental health professionals to our team. Because of what is happening, the stress from the pandemic, the stress from the competition, the pressure, it is really something that we think we needed to add. So we now have mental health professionals joining our team. Part of my personality development also, Adam, is we make sure that they are ready mentally, psychologically, and emotionally. So we wanted them not to have any psychological or emotional baggage. So that's what I surface during my sessions. I tell them how much of their past influences today and tomorrow. We teach them how to handle that. And then we also, I also have a session on self-worth and self-confidence, how to balance that and how to increase that so you'll have more focus when you join your chosen pageant. So that's how it works in Aces and Queens. It's like a car assembly plan. Our production, the finished material is the car. But before you finish the car, there's this, a department that does the chassis, the engine, the tires, the body paint, the upholstery. Parang ganun yung We make everything talaga in place. We leave no stone unturned. And then every year, nag-evolve. Depende sa needs ng mga pageants. And you are all doing this for free? Yes. Profe- and, considering um, you are all professionals. Uh, may kanya very, kanya kanya job, ang kanya very accomplished people in their respective fields. Wow. Yes, yes. So could you say na parang yung mga binanggit mong tao, yung including the um the members of the aces and pwede bang ito na yung parang biggest contribution niyo yeah i think country. one naman yung talent parang, niyo yung ambag yeah, niyo i think it's a big contribution to be able to help the girls parang i will not say it's a legacy it because it's the girls who will tell that if it were parang we were able to give a legacy but well, let's just say it's our contribution lang to really parang promote Philippine pageantry and to always put the Philippine on the world beauty stage. So we're happy about that. Hello, Alexa. Oh my God, Alexa is here. Happy to it's, see you It's here. something new. Ah. May, may, wow, nagulat ako. Ang bilis niyo kumilos. May mental health component na kayo. Yes, yes. Wow, yes, all yes. around. Parang lahat, parang one-stop shop na kayo. Parang for yeah. all the girls' needs. Parang, parang okay. kayong, parang kang pupunta sa mall, di ba? Ito yung PIR, ito yung SSS, ito yung... <laughs> MB. Parang one-stop one shop na. Kasi we want to make sure na when they join the pageant, may focus. Walang distraction. Di ba? Parang mer- wala yung na-stress ka, na-pressure ka. So we have to always address that. And if we see that a certain girl has a certain problem, nasa sense namin yon, we will say, hey, kausapin mo si ganito. Okay, there's a Tito Jerry. Parang may problema sa do. Pwede kausapin mo. And then, It's either I talk to them personally or we do virtual one-on-one sessions. And we're happy that they trust the team and they let their heart out. Ano mga deepest concerns nila, fears nila. So, oh, sabi yeah. Ni oh, sorry. Yoj Navarrete. Yo. <laughs> yo Navarrete. Sorry, my dearest Yo. But it's part of our styling team. And siya pala yung nagdagdag ng bago naming Juan, which is modeling and posing. Thank you so much. Oh. I'm so sorry. No, I forgot about that. Mm-mm. Yes. So, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Mama it's Mikey, it's... for reminding us about yeah. Mr. Yo, Yo-Yo. has been very instrumental in our group because of her, of his very wide experience in, you know, styling the girls, arranging the photo shoots. He teaches, oh, yung kamay mo mali, oh, yung ganon. So, starting this month, we had modeling and posing sessions for all our girls. that are facilitated by top photographers and top models. So, thank you very much, yo. I'm sorry I forgot all this. You have to forgive me. I'm 66 years old na senior moment. I love you, yo. <laughs> At siya pa yung, he's very organized, ha, si yo. Siya ang aming schedule master. So, every time meron kami training, before we put it on the GC, we have to give it to yo. And then he arranges yeah. that walang conflict. Pag may conflict, aayusin yun ni Yo. Pag okay, nasa kanya lang ipapublish yun. Pag napublish na sa GC namin, three days before the training, please make availability check. So, maglalagay sila doon, available, ganito rin yan. On the day of the training, meron kami pang quality check. 
pagdating mo sa venue, uh-huh. number one, Jerry Diaz, 9.05. Ganon. And then, pag nagkatap kami 10 o'clock, oh, 10 o'clock, bakit wala pa? Pinapagalitan namin yung konsino ka. Kasi we're very particular about punctuality. Pag sinabi namin 9 a.m., 11 girls are expected, 7 pa lang, start na kami. But that does not happen kasi by the time we start at 10 o'clock, alimbawa, call time, everyone is there. Kung meron lang isa na traffic, ganun. We always make yeah. sure yung ano, we always make sure that everybody is there. They value punctuality because we teach them that in the pageants that they will join, that is an important factor also. That you're there during your call time. Hello, yo! So, wow, thank you for sharing all these all these new development about your camp, Aces and Queens. So, grabe, para na nga siyang one-stop shop. So, yun na nga, you train them. Uh, it's really like an academy na talaga, full-time academy. Oh, oh, school, finishing school. Like, yeah. Yes, it is, it is, it is. It is. Yeah, the values so formation pa kami. Yun. O, iba pa yun. Talaga holistic talaga ang training. Wala mm. na akong masabi. So, yun na nga, sir. Um, you're different you're training them for different aspects like hair and makeup, pasarela, and umabot yes. na sa holistic approach in terms of their values, attitude, behavior. So, I wonder, given that isang batalyong team that ACES has na pala in preparing all these Merlis for the guerra in the pageant world, There's 15 I wonder, of us na. Uh-huh. Can, girls, can girls still train with other people outside your comp? for the same uh, aspects. Um after we choose the girls, meron kaming orientation. And in the orientation guidelines, we have a three-page orientation guidelines. We tell them what are our expectations of them, what they can do, and then what is not allowed. So one of the things that we do not encourage, I will not say prohibit, but parang ganun na <laughs> We do not encourage is to get external trainers because it will confuse the girl. Because what we want is that all the trainers have the same template, all the trainers are on the same page, and everyone is dancing to the same tune. Hindi pwedeng ni sumasayo na sintonado. Hindi pwedeng kasi dapat one template lang. Kasi at least kami alam namin, anin template namin, what we want for this pageant, for this ganito. If they, if we allow them to train with another group at hindi alam yung objective natin, uh, sometimes yung secret strategies, then makokonfuse yung girl. But then sometimes we tell the girls, if there, you have a team that wants to help, please let us know. We will see if we, it's possible for us to collaborate. Halimbawa, magpapaturo ng makeup o ng paggawa ng hair na hindi naman niya kayang gawin kasi mag-isa siya. Halimbawa, do sa apartment niya, kasama niya yung isang makeup artist niya from the province, tuturoan lang sa how to execute, pero yung style nang galing sa team. O ito, yung bagay sa yung hairstyle, tong ganito. Yung ganito, ganyan curl. Ito yung picture na, ito yung peg. Tingnan mo to. Tinuro sa kanya, halimbawa ni Jim, tinuro sa kanya ni Dave Grona. Tapos when she does that, kaya niya doon pagka tinuturoan, pero pagkadating sa bahay, hindi. Kung nandito yung hair trainer niya from the province, as long as they do the template, hindi nila iibahin, baka yun pwede, but that has to be cleared with the team. Kasi the team will not be there naman 24 hours. Paano ba natuto na sa kanya paano yung nakaban sa itaas, nandito sa baba, paano siyang nakakurl na nasa kanan, one-sided, nagagawa niya pag-training, pero on her own, hindi niya magawa. Pwede magpatulong, but ituturo sa kanya kung paano gawin. Yun. Okay, no, I get it. So I tama it. itong sinabi ni Yo, it's like they're enrolling in one semester sa college and we all have our modules. Ha? May kanya kami ang may module. So hindi yung we go to the training na merong kaming lesson plan. We go to the training na merong on the screen, on the flat screen, nakikita nila dun yung, yung lecture, yung what we're saying. So yun yun. Everyone comes, merong kaming, ako I come there with a clear folder. When I lecture on personality development, self-confidence, self-worth, ganun. mga how to start a conversation in a social event, how to start, tinuturoan ko sila ng mga icebreakers, how to start your conversation when you are a sponsor's party and you don't know anyone, how to avoid social anxiety disorder. You are the things that we discuss for the girls. Kanya-kanya kaming lesson plan. 
Ah, wow. Alam oh, niyo, pwede na kayo magtayo ng university. Yeah. Pwede na kayo magtayo ng university about beauty pageants. Grabe. Depa- compartmentalized. May bawat yes. department. Parang... parang may department of arts and sciences, may department of physical education, may department of philosophy, arts and sciences. So ganun. Hello, Angel, and hello to the people. Hi, Angel. Hi, Sir Angel. Yes, thank you for watching. I love him so much. So, yun, Sir. Wow, thank you for sharing that. So, Sir, yung, yung sinasabi mo rin ba will also apply to the glam teams of the girls? Kasi na-notice ko in recent years, ha, apart from your camp, apart from a camp, um, the rise of each girl's glam team have added or have aided them in their respective candidacies. So, what do you think about it? Um, Does it help in, a girl, or do you think it creates a conflict? Um, I don't think it should apply now. Kasi in the past, when makeup artists are allowed backstage, pwede pa yon. But now, hindi na. So, we tell our girls to know very well how to do their own hair and makeup. Because as we've seen in the past, wala na makeup artist na inaalaw sa backstage. So, they should be able to do that. And also, ang kwan ko naman is, uh, I think it helps a lot. Like if they compete abroad and they don't like the makeup that was done, then maybe, or kaya parang kulang ng time, they're able to do their hair and makeup on their own. So like what I said earlier, parang siguro kung meron silang sariling glam team, execution lang, but the template should be from the team. Kasi inaral na namin yung mukha ng girl, oh. inaral na namin ano yung makeup, sin royal and error na, O pagka-lighting, ganito, maganda. Pag-swimwear, dapat ganito. Pagka-gown, dapat ganito. Yun. So, oh, so, as long as it is coordinated with us at template na ituro sa girl, it's okay. Pero wag mo nang gagawa ng bagong style na hindi na-clear kasi aaralin muna ng team yun. Kasi sometimes, it may be a good idea, pero oh, let's try muna dito. Tingnan natin how to execute. They can get advices, but then the final say will have to be with the team. And we will oh, explain para... why, kung ano yung choices. Para isang direction uh-huh. lang lahat. Kasi if we allow that, gaganong gano'n, malilito lang yung girl eh. Baka mamaya, oh. instead of helping the girl, the girl might suffer lang. Sayang naman. Oo, oh, oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. So, kaya nga, the key word there is collaborate. With collaborate. You. Kayo ang masusunod. Then... Kayo ang may last say. Sila taga-execute. Mm-hmm. Kayo yung puta. Kayo yung brain. Sila mm-hmm. taga-execute. Sometimes okay. naman, we get them good ideas from the from their team. Oo nga, no? maganda, let's try that. Para hindi naman kami always yung nagka. We don't claim to have the monopoly of talent and kills. Uh, we will always welcome any advice, but then in the end, the team decides. Uy, Sir Swen is also watching us. Para... Oh my <laughs> thank God. Thank you, Sir Swen. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Hello. Good evening to Cebu, Swen, and Team Origin. Hello to Ed also. Alexis oh, the entire also. Asia Simpsons final king. May, may tanong si Kate, taga saan daw po kayo? Anong probinsya daw po kayo? Uh, okay, Jay? I am from Aringay, La Union. Kate is the same province as Gloria Diaz. As the parents of Gloria Diaz. Oh, di ba? Pati Thank province. Thank you for asking. Talaga. <laughs> so, yun na. So, we've talked about um your team, your team members. And yun, tapos at the same time, the rise of these gram teams na are helping the girls on their on their candidacies as well. So, so let's talk about the man yung aspect ng camp switching. Kasi okay. let's face it, over the years we have seen girls coming back or switching camps. So, how does how do you how does one leave a camp respectfully? Yeah, okay. Um there is an unwritten rule between the camps. Now, if you have to leave your camp and transfer to another camp, the girl will usually give the courtesy of uh, advising and getting the blessings of, his orig- of her original team. So meron ganon. There's a courtesy advice, there's a courtesy meeting, tapos there's a parang a thank you and a resignation letter that is given to me and the team. I'll give you a classic example. I was the one who brought Patricia Santos to Aces and Queens after uh, Melody Girls back and brought her to Binibini Pilipinas, di ba? And then a few years after, sabi ni Patricia, Patricia and her mom are all very dear to me. Uh, invited me to lunch. So we had lunch in Robinson's Galleria. Tapos 
Tito Jerry, I want to join sana um, another contest and I will be joining another camp. So I just want to say thank you for kung ganito, ganyan, and uh, I will forever be grateful and um, I would like sana to pursue another ganito, no? another goal. So, okay, kasi talagang I love this song. We're very, really, very, very close na si Patricia and her mom. So I gave her naman my blessing. So she went there. Ganyan. Ganun lang yung kasimple. Parang pagka, halimbawa, meron naman from another team who wants to join us. Before we, uh, alam namin, from another camp siya, we always tell, wait, nagpaalam ka na ba kay ganito? Did you say ba, did you get clearance? Did you get blessing for it? If they did not, then we will not. Hindi niya tatanggapin. Uh... We will not. Kasi hindi maganda yon. Parang, okay, you add a queen to your team, but we should not be Pero happy that we are, age. that another team is losing at their queen. So, hindi ganon. So, unless na lang they really, meron silang personal goal that they want, and palagay nila, hindi nila ma-achieve sa amin, okay, they want to pursue um, another dream that they can get from the team, then we give them. Parang, kwan lang yun, parang it's really just the courtesy of uh, advice, parang, yeah, parang notice lang na Tito Jerry, Mama Mikey, um, which has happened in the past. No? Parang doon na muna ako sa kwan. Gusto ko kasing ganito, ganyan. So, wow. so as you see, parang kami doon sa teams are really very good friends naman din. Like if you saw my picture dati, diba, magkasama kami ni Rogel, doon ng Valentine's Day, nakita-kita kami doon sa ano. Oo so, nga eh. Which nagbiro nga kami. So, ang ginawa kong caption doon kasi kasama namin si Justin Berisarto. Sabi ko, kagandahang aces. Sabi ni Rogel, get it to Jerry. Ah, sir, ah Jerry, get on mo yan. Sir Jerry, ipost mo yan. I-post mo yan. Sabi ko, okay, okay, I will post it. Gulat, ay iba naman ang tingin magkakolaborate daw kay ni Sir Jerry for Justin. Oo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> o, di ba? Oh, nga, <laughs> collaboration. So, eh, paano naman, girl? Paano naman po, last few questions na lang, sir. I can't believe we've been talking for more than an hour already. <laughs> And gusto ko pa naming itanong. Oh, sure, how, do you sige lang, sure. how do you discipline a girl naman who's so tamad in training? May naka-encounter uh, again, na ng ganun. Uh, from the very start, sa orientation, kasama na yun, we tell them that um, what are the things that we do not allow them to do. Parang number one is yung absences. Pagka nagkaroon siya ng 30% absences sa training, from among the team members, she's put on probation. So parang nakamark na siya. Tapos school we school also school. monitor yung tardiness. Halimbawa, tardiness, laging late o kaya hindi a-attend ng no reason at all, na hindi valid reason, we mark the girl also. Pagka madami ng violations, the team will meet and then we will talk to the girl para may verbal warning, parang reminder. Oh, napapansin namin, lagi kang kwansayang naman kasi baka makulang ka yung preparation, the others are already kung ganun. But then pagka tuloy-tuloy pa din, then parang we talk to the girl na and as part of our guideline, pagka sumobra na dun sa maximum allowable, we exercise our option to delist the girl. Kasi it's not oh, fair to delist. the other girls. Yeah, it's of course. It's not fair to course. the other trainers. Diba sabihin, oh, bakit niya pinapayagan siya laging absent? Bakit niya pinapayagan laging late? Parang it will destroy yung teamwork. Tsaka parang madedemotivate yung iba. Mami, sabihin, may favorites yung kami. And we have seen in the past kung sino yung hindi religious na nag-a-attend, they do not place. Pero kung sino masipag sa Q&A, attend ng attend, katulad ni Pia Wurzbach, nananalo. Sa Q&A nga si Pia Wurzbach, hindi na nga tanong niya, siya pa yung sumasagot. Oo, Ganun yun, sasabihin niya, sasabihin niya pa kay Tito Nad, Tito Nad, can I have an alternative answer? Yung Naksa. ibang girl kasi, pagka yung ibang girls yung tinatanong, hindi na nakikinig, hindi na nagsusulat siya, she writes all the questions. Halimbawa, ba't sila 10 during that afternoon? Pati yung questions nung lima, tinata- nung siyang tinatanong, sinusulat niya yun. Tapos sasabihin niya, I have a different answer, Tito Nat, can I have an alternative answer? Ganun siya. Mm-hmm. Tapos, is it right if I say this, ganito? So talagang very comprehensive siya, talagang very focused siya. Pinagmamalaki niya nga, meron siyang tatlong video notebooks na nakasulat lahat ng Q&A questions niya. Nakita ko yun talaga, very diligent siya sa training. 
Isa pang trivia. The first time that she joined 2013, the screening was in Mercator office in Makati. The call time was 1 o'clock. Siguro before 1 o'clock nandun siya, siya yung number one seat. Artista na siya nun, ha? Pero before 1 o'clock nandun na siya. Siya yung pinakaunang silya malapit dun sa door going to the office of Jonas. So makita mo talagang kwan siya. Talagang may disiplina. Siya very professional siya. And that's why she deserves all the blessings that she has been getting. Speaking of Pia, do you think, sir, it's a huge ad- it's a huge advantage po if you are able to scout celebrities like her, Megan, Kelly Day? Advantage to the or, team or advantage to the girl? Advantage in in the to the team to, in pageantry in general. Because let's face it, like Pia, Megan, Kelly Day, Maureen kisses. Because wow. I'm talking about ano na our our ano na about our goal in winning Miss Universe na. Uh-huh. They are so that since because they are celebrities, they are so used to being at ease yeah. in front of the cameras. Um for us to win to win Miss Universe. Or Adam, do you think does it necessarily matter? No. Uh not this does not necessarily matter. It could work both ways. Okay. If you're a famous celebrity, it depends on which pageant you're joining. We make sure that your personality, yung orientation mo will match that. Halimbawa, ang orientation mo, you're a very bubbly, you're a very galaw-gaw, you're very outspoken, Kwan. Then, if you want to join Binibini Pilipinas, we might have to tone down a bit. Kasi di ba, if you inform Miss International, ayaw nila na masyadong outspoken, ayaw nila na masyadong magalaw-gaw, ayaw. Then they have to unlearn. Parang bawas ng 30%. Unlike yung newbie natin, ilalagay ka natin sa Miss Universe, at 80%, gaya gawin natin siyang 100%, 110%. Pero pag kayo mga celebrities, they will have to unlearn and undo some of their cons. So sometimes, yung advantage nila can be a disadvantage depending on what pageant they're joining. So pwede silang bawasan ng ganito, idagdagan mo yun sa ganito. Kasi, um, pero yung pinaka-basic advantage nila is they're confident facing the camera, they're confident facing people, they're confident um, talking to the press, they're very confident in the way they walk and the way they dress. Pero depende rin sa pad. I'll give you another example. Valerie Wayman was a top model when she won Miss World. Isipin mo, advantage on being a model. Pero meron isang disadvantage. I always told Valerie, Valerie, why can't you smile? Parang you find it very difficult to smile. Your smile is not natural. Yun ang sabi ni Valerie. No, Tito Jerry, I've been a model for eight years. Then they always told me not to smile. You see? Yung advantage niya as a model was a disadvantage when she first joined a beauty pageant. So she had to unlearn that. And she had to transform herself to a different person in order to fit the peg of Miss World. And she was able to do that over time. But if you notice her first photos, hindi siya comfortable mag-smile. But she was a fast learner. And she was able to do that. So she won Miss World Philippines. So ganun yan. It's Gusto not always... Gusto ko sana sumundot ng question doon. O oh, sige, go Gusto ahead. Hindi, sana... <laughs> parang, o oh, kung ganun pala, sir, hirap siya mag-smile. Hindi sana parang... Eh, universe ka na lang kasi, di ba? Para mapakinabangan natin yung modeling, ano mo, yung modeling, mm-hmm. yeah. ano, know-how mo, di ba? Kasi ang hiling, di ba, fierce, fierce diba, naman. Di ba, kung uso na yung crossover, crossover noon, I think we should have convinced her to join Miss Universe, di ba? Yeah, yeah. She's, so, one, of rin... the, she's okay. one of the she's beautiful friends who are very, very close to me on a personal basis. Ha? Talagang love oh. na love ko yan. When my hundred, I... when my hundred three-year-old mom um, got hospitalized in Medical City and she celebrated her 103rd birthday. Nagpunta pa sa hospital yan si, ano, si Valerie Wayman to celebrate the 103rd birthday of my mom. She's wow. like family to us, yes. Wow, my mom reached cool. up to 106. Oh, um, but, oh, I can attest to Valerie's behavior. And wow, <laughs> sir. Sana umabot so kayo ng age niyan. 106. Wow, that's good. Yes. I hope to still be with Aces and Queens when I'm 106, coaching the girls in a wheelchair. 
Pwede, parang ano, sa X-Men lang, si Professor Xavier lang, di ba? So, curious lang din ako, sir, kasama rin ba sa training nyo dito sa mga girls na to, whether celebrities, celebrities or not, yung how they deal with bashers on social media? Um, siguro one of the things na ina-advise namin sa kanila is one, which was the same advice that I gave to Pia words back. And I remember Pia saying, Sir Jerry, number one yan do sa notebook ko na sinulat ko. Kasi one of the first questions she asked me in one session, sabi niya, Tito Jerry, how do you advise, what do you advise girls na nagiging subject ng mga bashers? And then I told her, Pia, the only things that should matter are those which come from people who matter. Everything else that come from people who you do not know, parang ignore mo na lang and should not be affected by it. So during the Media Week of Miss Universe, in one of her interviews in New York, narinig ko sinabi niya yan, kahit tuwan-tuwa naman ako doon, na she said that um, when the host said, so how do you handle bashers online? She said, well, for me, they uh, only comments that should matter are those which come from people who matter. And I think even in my personal life, in my professional career, and I teach all the girls, you just have to insulate yourself from bashing. Uh, but then sometimes their comments there's some truth to it. You pick up the truth that can be constructive and develop and uh, parang learn from it. Yung iba that you think, uh, you should know your personal truth. If you think that is not true, then parang pakinggan mo lang ka, but ignore it. Don't let me be affected by it. And uh, I also share with the girls what Richard Nixon said uh, during the impeachment proceedings. And Richard Nixon said, when you know the truth, you have nothing to fear. So you know your own personal truth. If you think that what they're saying is not true, there's no truth to it, we should not be affected by it. <laughs> parang, parang Q&A, top 5 Q&A. Parang nakikinig na lang ako. Ang ganda. Ang gandang advice. Thank you. I applied okay. that in my personal life, Adam. Ha, para when you're not affected by what people say about you, then you become happier. Nice. Nice, sir. So, in the 20 years that you've been part of Aces and Queens, who do you think um, would you consider the most memorable discovery? Um, it will had? have to be Siguro Melody Gersbach because she was the first girl I endorsed to Aces and Queens. And then, first candidate ko na kagad ng Binibining Pilipinas International. And she made it to the top 15 of Miss International in China. But then, of course, everyone knows she had a tragic ending. She got, um, she got killed in a, um, she died in a car accident in Bicol going to the, one of the activities in Miss Bicolandia. So, nakakalungkot lang yon. And actually, during that time, she, there was plans already for her to go to Germany and join Miss Germany Universe. And Ooh. she could have, I think, no, if she won Miss Germany, Miss Germany Universe, she could have placed in Miss Universe as well. So, nakakalungkot Sayang, yung... wala na siya, no? Oh, very shocking talaga. Tapos siguro yung iba pang naging memorable sa akin, yung nakpakila, nabanggit ko na kayo na were the things that we had to do in order to convince them, yung parents ni Ibet Santiago and her team, Katarina Rodriguez had to convince her lolo, Katriona, I had to convince the mom and the dad, tapos si Maureen, the manager, the, si Chini, the owner, Prima Stella, and of course si Kises, dun sa mami niya naman, no? And her dad. Uh -oh. And then, of course, si Pia is uh, very close to me kasi siya yung parang uh, she stands out kasi she is very humble and then she's very she's a very grateful person. And I told her nga na parang um, when do you develop an attitude of gratitude, the Lord will always bless you with things that you will be grateful for. Ganun siya. Para in the way she writes her notes, the way she writes her appreciation, ang haba-haba-haba-haba talaga. So parang nakakatuwa lang that uh, with all her celebrity status, she still takes time out to write really very nice notes which I always keep. Okay. Bait talaga. Kaya she deserves all the successes and the blessings that she has been receiving. Love na love kayang si Pia. So, yes yeah, sir. A few more questions left. So what yes, do sir. you think? Ra give it everything that you said since an hour ago. What do you think is the secret? why Aces and Queens is a very successful successful cup in the Philippines to the point na pati ibang bansa tinitingala na kayo. Uh -uh. 
Um, I think I will go back to the three words that I said earlier. Parang is the slogan that I use for aces and queens. No, yung passion, mission, and vision. As long as you you stick to that those three words, parang core values namin of teamwork, professional ethics, and uh, parang no professional jealousy that we always work for the girls and not for our own personal ag- ag- aggrandizement. Then I think the team will stay. So. We're very happy that with the cha- over the years, with the changes of leadership, with the changes of members, we're still able to keep the team, and we were still able to produce winners. No, so parang because we, uh, I always tell everyone in the team, the time will come maybe that I will not be there anymore. But as long as we spot the same values, the same professional ethics, we have the same teamwork, and we keep the love within the group, parang the trust and the respect, then I think aces and queens will be there for the next 100 years, Adam. As long as you're bound by the same values that will not change over the times, then it will be there to stay. Hi, hello, little Ezra. Good evening. Thank you for uh, viewing our show tonight. So, kunyari, last question, sir. Ako, ako ay isang aspiring beauty queen from the beauty, from a province. Why should I pick aces and queens as my uh, camp if I want to okay. join the pageant over the other camps? Ano ang advantage okay. na meron ang aces and queens? I would not say that there is a, an, an advantage. If someone from the province will um, will join us, I think ang answer ko sa kanya is if you're joining a beauty pageant, you might as well join a camp. So... I cannot say that we have an advantage because I don't know exactly how the other camps train their girls, no? But maybe what we can say is, um, um, I will not call it an advantage. Eh? Maybe we will just tell her that uh, when you train with us, we will make sure that you will get the best training and we will have customized training programs for you. While we will have a general training program for all the girls, we customize it kasi to each and every one. Like, alimbawa, sa physical fitness training namin, Merong general training program si John Quay. But then if she sees na yung isang girl medyo nahirapan sa ganito, merong individual body assessment yun eh. Pagkatapos meron siyang individual food diary. So nakakustomize yun. It's not a one size fits all. So that will take a lot more time. But if it is something that will increase their chances of winning, then we do. And then we also make sure that um, they will feel like family. Now, they will not feel insecure because there are girls who came from London, there are those who came from France, they came from Brazil. Parang maganda yung their one family. We, te- we tell them na huwag ka mahihiya dito because everyone is on equal footing. Um, they will teach you like your own sister. They will protect you. They will help you. Parang, so wag, you will not have a reason para mailang ka. You will not have a reason to be insecure because they will pull you up with them. Ganun, parang I don't think there's an advantage kasi... Uh, I'm sure everyone um, does their job well because otherwise they will not be producing their own international winners. No? Para, I don't think it's right to say na merong advantage. I think we're both doing our job, but maybe what we can just tell them is we will protect them, we'll make sure that they are comfortable, and they will get all the training that they deserve. Nice. Wow, sir. Totoo. Well said, sir. So on that note, Thank maraming maraming salamat. Wow, I can't so believe much. we talk for an hour and a half about Oh pieces my God, thank you. You're thank such you. a great, you're such a great conversationalist. Grabe, oh, sir. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Na share na para nagulat ako. Wow, she near niya. Thank you so much for your time and generosity in. Marami pa kami secrets pero sure secret na lang, di ba? <laughs> uh, malalaman nila when they join Aces and Queens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Julia is still watching us. See, no? oh, si Julia is still watching us. At, at oh, yes, now. thank you, Julia. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. yeah. So, ano, sir, last question as a message to all the pageant fans waiting uh, okay. Siguro, for the pasabogs of your alagas. Ano um, ab- aabangan namin sa inyo? Siguro wala. I think when you see our candidate for the next two pageants, Meron mga surprises. This year, siguro walang mga sikat. But we're very happy na yung um, candidates that we have are newbies. Show a lot of potential. 
and they're all smart, they're good conversationalists, they have excellent credentials. So parang nakakatawa. Siguro yung pasabog is parang we will be able to create parang very good beauty queens, even from newbies, na parang even if they're not polished yet, they show a lot of potential. Yung mga advice ko lang siguro for those girls who want to join pageants is parang when you join a pageant, you should not go half-hearted. You should put your heart and mind into it. Dapat merong focus, dapat merong determination. Kasi hindi pwedeng merong destruction. So actually, we tell our girls, pag malapit na yung pageant, oh, wala na muna. You tell your boyfriend na wala na muna ng LQLQ. O oh, kung pwede, break ka na muna. We joke, sabi ganun. Pero kung palagay mo toxic yung boyfriend, basta sabihin mo lang, oh, give me this next four weeks. Prepare for, wag mo na kaming away-awayin. Kasi baka mami, ma, di ba? Magkakaroon ng destruction. And we always tell them to always focus on their goal. And I tell them that when you have the goal, you have to want it badly. And you, when you want a goal badly, you should be able to do everything and stop at nothing in order to achieve it. Because if you don't, I tell the girls, you never wanted it in the first place. So dapat, you stop at nothing and achieve it. Jedaida, sabi ni Jedaida. Jedaida, Jedaida is our Miss Femina 2022. Siya rin yung tagalista namin na Miss Tokatib. Kaya siya yung number one sa list lagi. Hello, Jedaida. <laughs> In-advise mo yata siya, break muna. <laughs> yeah, very good. Congratulations. Congratulations talaga. <laughs> oh, hello. I will lose also watching. <laughs> Parang There biligay niya ka kayo ng assignment ng mga trainers niyo na manood ngayon. <laughs> Oo nga, lahat sila nanood. Nagulat ako. Thank you so much. There you have it, everyone. The one and only Sir Thank Jerry Diaz. Thank you so much. Maraming maraming salamat. I only promise you on a 30-minute 30, uh, 30 interview, but we went over time with oh, all your insights. Na, hindi, hindi ko nga napanisip. Um, you. you have been a very engaging host. I just want to say na parang... Um, I always follow you. Kasi nakikita ko, one thing, you're very updated. Tapos, I like it the way you do it. So professional, very objective. Walang kinikilingan, walang, you know, yung ganun, di ba? Parang, ang ganda-ganda. Parang, it, it's very entertaining. So you're one of those I really follow. Thank you Thank also you for supporting Teddy. ACs and Queens all throughout. I really love it. Maraming salamat. On behalf of our team and our girls, grateful to you. Okay, thank you for this invitation again, Adam. Bye-bye. Thanks salamat. everyone to all those who watch stay and safe in comments. And... Yes, salamat. Stay, stay safe and hydrated. Po. Virtual hugs and kisses all the way from my office here in Cubao. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank Sir you very Jerry. much. Good night, everybody. Love you. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. I'll see you. All right. Bye-bye, Jedi.